Welcome back, Indie Lovers, and it is my pleasure to present Season and Letter to the Future. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you get to grab yourself a plate. Now, this is going to be a phenomenal experience here. I'm getting a chance to check this out a little earlier than normal, but I, I do have an embargo, so I don't want to post it too early. So, when you're seeing this, the embargo is lifted. But this is going to be an amazing, amazing little journey that you're going to see. It is documenting everything up until the end of the world from what i understand so we're gonna hop in here check out the game for a little while if you do like this game please check out the link down below by the time this post the game should be out so let's go hop in well then i want to give a special shout out to evolve for letting them for allowing me into the game early to be able to hop in here and start making some content from it right away Hi, I'm Hal. Who are you? Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. That's kind of cool, actually. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight, just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the Elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? Hmm. If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad who always wanted to see the outside world, but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The Elder had one condition for letting me go. But I take what I collect to the museum vault. A palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. I would assume with the lab goat, can't probably. can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other mm, room. Breakfast. And I can hear my mom's voice. Who doesn't love breakfast? Hmm. I don't think I should use a controller. I think I, I think this should be enough right here. Past seasons. I think uh yeah, I, th I think keyboard and mouse would be good. Olden days, unknown season of modernity, a season of industrialization, golden season, a season of cultural exchange, the war, the great war that lasted ten years, season of the season I was born into. Who are you? I don't know if I ran you anyway. Ah, I see right here. So that's that's the book right now. What's My this? bag and dad's camera. Ready for the great departure. Ooh. Look at this bad boy. Hope you like more than you would have liked a fish. Pate. Pate, Dad, you think? First for what? What'd you get first for? First, Wandering Tail Festival, 870. 
Uh, let's see what the origami is. Origami's so cool. Folded by Pate. I'm assuming that's probably dad. That's why they're keeping, that's why she's keeping all those things right there. Love the graphical style already. Oh, look at this. We're in a pull string, pull string, pull string, pull string. Three. Two. One. Sorry, I like this list spinning. Hooray. <laughs> Mr. Lotto's here. <laughs> the the burr, burr, burr got me. It got me. That was good. That was good. I like that. Alright, check this out. A catalog of strangers. Fearsome tales for Blase children. A catalog of strangers and introduction into a more frightful aspects of the world. A reasonable amount of fear and fun makes for prudent children. Okay. Ooh, inspect husk. Oh, look at this thing. Look you at. And old Bill. Oh, yeah, look at this. The owl spreads her wings over prosperity. That's beautiful. This bill is worth 10 poems. That's beautiful. I hear mom humming. Let's go check out mom. Oh, wait, wait. No, wait. Ah, oh, there's a picture. Mm, sorry, mom. Absorb the moment. Good morning, mom. Study the scene. Hmm. Let's absorb the moment. I'm getting ready to leave. This little house. Yeah. There used to be three of us here. My mom and dad and me. Soon it will be just her. That's her and mm. all these memories. But in this moment, everything is the same as ever. Until I shift my weight. <laughs> oh. The floorboards creak. Mom, Mom heard hears you. it and turns to me. You're up. I am. What are you doing standing there? Just enjoying yourselves. Time to get going. It's going to be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still got to make a pendant. We haven't make used a this pendant? in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your... An identity pendant protects your mind. Okay. Your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you, you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore. But if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shielding you. Shielding against what? Diseases of the mind, like the dream sickness. Oh, okay. Where did the pendants come from? It was Dr. Fumio's last invention. He realized that some psychedelic maladies were impossible to cure, so he made the pendant to prevent them in the first place. I love the voice actress. If you actress. have a better idea how to protect your brain from being destroyed, let's hear it. That's what I thought. <laughs> I don't have any idea, I'm in sorry. times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. <sighs> Let's skip that part. Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless. At least. I love that. I could do now lose the memories instead. Um, let's try. Okay, so this old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember. Yeah. You and I fell Excuse asleep me. listening to this tape. Mm. Your dad came home. This is relaxing. We all rested together until it got dark. I can see myself going to sleep with that. That's nice. Into. Oh. 
What an odd feeling. Like an absence disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. <sighs> that's that's interesting. I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in a pendant forever. So they That's should be interesting. important to you. They should be part of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. Hmm. That's a rose. A strong odor that holds a piece of me. Clue, acid, dust, pulp. How I always wanted to meet these strangers. Um, uh, no, not for smell. No, not for smell either. Let's see. Maybe the bunny. Hmm. Ooh. Nothing. I take care of fragile things. What did you choose for smell? The origami bird. Let's I like breathe that. In deep. I mean, it doesn't smell like anything, though, but I like it. I remember your friend Pate made this little bird. Oh, Pate was a friend, no okay. Protect it. Keep it like a pet. I thought it wouldn't last long. It's just a bit of folded paper. But you took good care of it. And years went by. You'd done it. It was still intact. That was when I started to you understand really did. what kind of person you are. You will chaperone these delicate things into the future. It's actually kind of impressive how well that's folded and stayed together. That ended up. Now touch. Pick something with a texture you like. A texture I like. Hmm. Ginger drink. Oh, that would actually be really good for that. Spoon. I do like the texture of a spoon. I'm not gonna lie. The roses work. Oh, candies. I like texture of candies. I just like texture of the dry flowers. Little, That's weird. Soft, wilted. Nothing is ever lost. Yeah, let's do that. That's actually kind of cool. So what did you end up choosing? Okay. Feel the object. Your dad used to bring these flowers home from his clients. They only grow high up in the mountains. He was a great climber. He even found us a new source of water. I hoped after he would climb less, maybe even retire. But he always wanted to explore. And the only direction to go was up. Maybe the Elder is letting you leave out of guilt for what happened to your dad. If someone has the energy to leave, it needs to go somewhere. He fell into the Fitz ravine. He never found his body. Aww. Doesn't he rest with us at night? Doesn't he appear in our dreams? How can such a human being depart this earth without leaving behind a trace? A trace as strong as the flowers would still have their scent. Darling, I don't want to lose this one. I can't lose this one. Aww. Can we put the flowers back, please? Yes. Oh, man, this is a tough one. Oh, this, this is, ooh, um, I want to say yes, but I also agree the stronger the memory, the stronger the pendant. I don't want her to lose that memory though. I mean, but it's a tough memory to lose if you think about it, because she's going to lose the death. So I'm going to go the stronger pendant, but 
I'm not happy. You're right. Sorry, Mom. That's that's not easy. That's Mom. I'm fine. Let's do sight next. Pick something that that looks nice. Hmm. Something that looks nice. I like the spoon. Oh, what's over here? I never checked over here. Tower. I was loved by people <laughs> I have no memory of. That's that's beautiful, actually. Let's like that. So, what did you end up choosing? He's trying those hardest to be strong. Someone alive for the time it takes to burn. Just a few hours when death is nearby. It can be enough for last rites, last words. This was Grandma's candle. She didn't want to use it. You spent Aww. a lot of time with her when you were a baby. I realized she wouldn't live long enough for you to remember her. Or for her to see you grow up and discover what kind of person you'd be. So in a way, you don't know her. And she didn't know you. And yet, she loved you. I don't know where love That's goes, beautiful. But it belongs to you anyway. That's freaking beautiful. <laughs> Or taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. That works perfectly. <laughs> the memory I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. I want you to have it forever. Hmm. So she won't remember the whole pennant, or she just won't remember the eating? Standing here, you're having a last taste of home. Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home around your neck this is my only condition for letting you go you must promise me never to take the pendant off never i would never take the pendant off especially if that never sequence never okay then i'm okay with you leaving i think your camera and bag are still in your room it's time to gather them up Oh, let's get grab and leave. <laughs> it is time. Oh, I've lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you too? Look at us. <laughs> there we are. There we were. We'll always be right here on this beautiful morning. Hmm. Ooh, that's, that's really, <laughs> damn. Goodbye, ritual. Inspiration available. I just performed a ritual with my mom. 
the moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. Should I go in order? Oh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna put that right there like that. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so go here. I want this picture next. I want this picture right there with my mom. And I want this right here. So that's like right there. And then what I want to do. Oh no, I want to put the next last keepsake over there I never too. I knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story. Filling in this journal is a ritual too, but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. Can I put one more here? Yeah, I'm gonna put the candle here too. You know? Yeah, that's why I, I want to put the candle there too. So I'm gonna move this one right here because I, I figured I was gonna put everything there. So this way, it kind of like it tells a story as along as it goes along. It tells like a little bit of a story. It's like I combine these three. I combine more than that, but I combine these three to make the pendant. You know, so it's kind of like a flow in a sense. And this is my last sight before I leave. I'm gonna put that in the center. Sorry, a little OCD there. <laughs> um, I haven't got to the next page yet. I've brought tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. I love the gongs, that's beautiful. You get the water going. Last night there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Funia. I think I can get the whole plaza in here. Let's, let's go back here. I feel like I want like a mix, you know? Ooh, that's a nice filter. They're cool as such a nice filter. This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Caro back in 776. They live on through our traditions. Oh. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. These, right?
Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. She added zero book automatically. Love that. That was one mural. Wait, no, pick up. Kate loves fish, even though nobody here has ever seen one. No one has seen fish? In a village? This is beautiful. This is a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. Oh, that's beautiful. Dr. Fumio designed healing instruments. Rip Dr. Fumio, dream sickness, dreams on. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. The dream sickness, does that mean death? Is that death? It looks like it, because it looks like there's a bird and a sickle. So a sickle is kind of like a representation of of death. You know, how he how the how the death bringer usually carries a scythe. I feel like that's how that works. Elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception. Time misperception? Cured maladies of the mind. Beautiful. Dr. Fumio was an important person, but we also just have a need to put a human face on events that are beyond our control. He may have felt just as scared and helpless as everyone else. New stamp saying conclusion unlocked. Wait, how do I get to stamps and conclusion, though? Recording, crouch, interacting, biking, roaming. Oh. Decorations. Quotes. Dr. Fumio had a mission that was so ambitious his work was the basis of all traditions. I love that you're making like a scrapbook. Beautiful. What's this? I wish I could tell you more about this poster. But I never thought to ask what it means. Now we'll both never know what it means. Oh well. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is that? Huh. 
Oops. No, go back. I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. Caro Village. Let's rotate this a little bit. I actually really love that napkin. The village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. The page is so blank though. No, I should move one second. I should move this to like here. And then I should do I'm not so prank anymore, right? I feel like this would be a really nice picture too. You know? I like, look at this cafe and everything. I love that you get to keep whatever photos you grab. You know, like, this is great. But just this beauty. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. Wait. I love that because it looks fake. <laughs> That's fate. Might be time to giddy up. No, no, oh, no, maybe not time to giddy up. Oh, maybe I have to go that way. Maybe I have to go down. Maybe I was wrong. My bad. Roll, roll, roll. Yeah, this is where we have to go right here. Jeez, look at this area. My gosh. Oh, what's this? Ooh, past. I go fishing here with my best friend, ah, Mate even though there's nothing to catch. We both appreciate the silence. Sometimes you have to. I thought they said that the one in the village had seen a fish. I'm assuming. Karo founded. This is actually be a really nice photo Karo for the thing. was founded during the modernity. Much later, Dr. Fumio arrived and remade it in his image. That's like, that's perfect for the scrapbook. Right now. Who changes the candles? This 
flower means you're in my thoughts. The morning after the search was called off for dad, our doorstep was covered in them. Beautiful. The run is fantastic. I love the run. It's almost like you're going down a castle right now. See that? It literally feels like you're leaving a castle. All right, here we go. That's gotta be a very weird feeling. For the first time. Look at it, it's beautiful. Is it recording? Yes. Okay. How to leave home for my daughter. <laughs> Find a sacred square of earth. Lay down so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. Close everything. Do you see for yourself? You see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move, to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them. <laughs> I love that. I don't know, that's not a great photo though. Maybe when I get a little out, I can get a better photo. Much better photo. I hold a photograph of everyone I've ever known. I hold it tight. I figured that'd be a really nice photo to have. Ooh, the blue one. Can I pick the blue one? Oh, is the pink one mine? But look how pretty the blue one is. Pate fixed up three bikes instead of one. Oh. Yes. I like the blue one. I love that they're giving me a... Um, I love that they give me an option. That's fantastic. The blue one was beautiful. I don't know. Blue is just a nice color. Mount bike. Oh, I love it. This has better controls than Grand Theft Auto already. Wow. This is gorgeous. You automatically follow the road? No, you have to move it. Okay. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. 
It, this is picturesque. This is beautiful. Season, a letter to the future. This is probably easy with the controller. This this part. <laughs> I'm just like nubbing the D key right now or the A key. Just tapping it. And this is um This would be so much fun to ride down. I just wanted that picture. The path out of the car, a new page added. Oh! <laughs> well, I guess I should have been taking more pictures. Crap. Is that something in the clouds? You see that? I do like that you can leave behind your bike. That is very nice. Oh, look at this. This is nice. This is an old mine shaft? Or train shaft, maybe? Yeah, old train. No, oh, I, oh, I didn't mean to turn that way. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just trying to enjoy the view. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's gonna get so mad at me because I keep crashing into things. Look at this place. Most of what I've seen from the outside world probably arrived in a cart like this. So these are like supplies carts that come into the city, probably. Open letter, heck yeah. Dear Esdale, I'm, I'll be, sur be surprised if this letter reaches you. The world has become like a deranged sleeper thrashing a bed. Eyes closed tighter. I've noticed how this, the soldiers strip people of their clothes first, a small integration which permits everything that follows. I wish I had loved you more completely when the world allowed it. You were right. The letter never made it. The season before this one, the war, seems so horrible. Dear Cornelius, oh, read it. Dear Cornelius, I thought it over and I had to tell you the name you picked for your baby. It is terrible. Please do not go forward with it. I pray this letter reaches you in time. Yours, Dorino. <laughs> that poor baby. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. I am suffering from memory excess, but cannot travel to the village for treatment. I am praying you could instruct me by mail how to cure myself of this disease. I am una unable to forget. Now I realize how important it is to gain open space in the mind. Tell me what to do. Tell me how to forget. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. Before setting up in Cairo Village, Dr. Fumio roamed the land curing people. Look at all of the... Um... He wasn't around anymore. Especially for people who couldn't travel to the village. Got a little paper blown around here. Import, export, fabric rolls, herbal tea, dried flowers. The trade routes are cut off. Power is going to feel even smaller now. Wait, why were the trade routes cut off though? Traders used to come to the outskirts of the village. The war put an end to this. Oh. 
Whoa, look at this. From the village, these cranes look like little creatures grazing. I had no idea how huge they are. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, sketch it. That's really nice. This is the most, this is like one of the most peaceful journeys I've ever been on. I know it's not, I, I, it's probably not supposed to be incredibly peaceful, but it is, from my mindset, incredibly peaceful. The Path Anacaro. I want to line these up like that, and then I want to put put the letters around. Wait, I'm I not done with the book yet. These sites, by the unfamiliarity of it all. We have not done yet. These means of connection. Don't look at my scrapbook yet. Are certainly telling me something about the world. Will they be used again in the next season? Actually, let's do like that. That'd be nice right there. And then rotate this way. And I'll put that one right there. And then the baby one right there. Baby, that one right there. And then we're going to put the industrial right in the center. Boom. Okay, where's my bike? Let's get let's get rolling. Underhill. Is in the bamboo for the wind to flip through. Oh, is that what that is? That's amazing. Oh, I thought that was like wolves or something. That's so freaking cool. I'm obviously a horrible driver. I could not stay on this road. Goodbye, singing Mebu. Oh, is my path taking me out there? Looks like it is. Oh, don't turn that way. No! Stay, stay straight. Let me look around. Stay straight. Ow, I just crashed. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we're good now. You don't realize how big these things are until you're on them. How big these things are. Wow.
Careful, flooded. Oh, okay. What's this, though? I heard at some point the tides got less predictable. Places flooded that never had before. Huh. Obviously, I can't go this way. This is all water, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I guess I was on my right, my right path. Oh, wait. What's that? That was 543 Seed Land Transportation Industries. A crane to move materials around. The things that used to be possible. Looks like I'm walking across this way, huh? I don't know. I'm daring. I would probably would have rode my bike across that way. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You want to sing into my microphone? Come on. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Wrong one. Wrong button. <laughs> Back on my bike. Back on my bike. Wait, no. No, 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 no. We gotta get this. We gotta get this one. I heard that village was abandoned because of a mind disease. Not every community had someone like Dr. Fumio to perform cures. Oh, wait, can I get closer? Or is he gonna be scared? Don't be scared. I just want to take some pictures. That's all. We're good. We're good. There we go. We learned Boom. about old technology in school, but not much about animals. What are these strange goat-like creatures? Are they simply goats? I'm going to say they're goats. Oh. Ah. Sorry. Oh, wait. You can pet them. Wait. Can you pet them? Stop it. Hello. My first time petting an animal. Oh, you can pet him. It went pretty well. You can pet him. Yes. <laughs> Listen, if I'm gonna give one goat attention, I gotta give them all attention. Hello, buddy. You're gonna get some too. That time it felt off. I guess I had beginner's luck before. Nope. If I'm petting them all, I'm petting one, I'm petting them all. Okay, now I got it back. I'm in control. I can easily pet certain four-legged animals. There's no way I am letting one goat go without a pet. And all the goats? Speak up if you need another pet. Just let me know. Ooh. Ooh. So that's the broken road. Oh, and I'm off-roading now. Look at the industrials over there. Oh, that's the village that passed away, huh? I'm guessing you can't go over there. They're almost like a spiritual journey here. I like this. It's so relaxing. I cycled through landscapes. Seeing them for the first and last time. 
I had no idea when I left my home how the season would end, or more importantly, how soon. As you cycle along, I love it. I actually think that's a great place to stop. On a cold, oh. damp day. Wait. I feel true loneliness for the first time. Nobody could have described with words how big this world is. How it goes and goes. I passed through it, where others passed before me. The long journey. Oh, look at the raindrops. I'm actually glad I got to see this part. Oh, man. This is amazing. I think this is a good place to get and hold up and stop, folks. Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet, where we'll help you find your next favorite indie. This is a journey, and it's beautiful.